all right, so you're doing some nonsense problem in algebra, and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, let's throw some fractions at them. Um, well, if you have the TI-84+, Plus, it's prepared to deal with it, especially in the newest software. There's actually a couple ways that you can type in um, fractions, and they all make sense. There's a nice menu if you can remember the, the touches required. If you go to the alpha button and Y equals, the, it, the menu's hidden right there. That's the only way I've always done it, but um, it turns out... If you don't want to do that, and you're like, man, I gotta type in some math. I'm Fractions are numbers, whether we like it or not. Um, and if you can either go down from here, or you could just kind of go up, and it flips it back around. It goes, you know, around the horn there a little bit. N over D is numerator over denominator. So look at this: four over three. And then it's like, well, then I have to add one over two fifths, and who wants to deal with that nonsense? Well, you can do that too. So we'll go to the math button, go over to numbers, click up a couple times. You'll see this UND, that would be uh, numerator, denominator, and then the unit in front of it. So just like this, and you, the big thing to remember is you need to use the directional pad a lot more because if you forget to click out like that, you'll end up typing everything in the denominator and it is the most annoying thing ever. Is there another place I could have typed in one and two fifths? Absolutely. If I go to alpha and y equals, that's right there. Just in case you need it, whatever. So I'm gonna kind of say like, yeah, I'm good on that and quit out of that. But anyway, I've got four thirds and plus one and two fifths because I typed it all in, all hunky-dory like. Hit enter and it makes 41 over 15. Well, I don't want it like that. That's an improper fraction. I don't like that. I want mixed number. Can I change that around? Of course. You can go to alpha y equals and bring up that menu. It's the third one. So if you want to do that, there it is. You just click down, hit enter, it'll change it. Um, or you can go back to the math button, go down to numbers, and you can click up from the bottom, or you can click down and it'll get you the same place. And it is this one right here. It's A uh, in D, which is numerator over denominator, goes to mixed number. So you hit that, and it should look just like this. And now to make it into a pretty mixed number, 2 and 11 over 15. And well, what if I don't want that? What if I just want it to be a decimal? Um, there is the change it to a decimal button. You just go to math, and it's like the second one down. There's uh, the button where you're in math, and you go to numbers, and then you just click up a few times to where you get F to D, which is fraction to decimal and then it'll convert it to 2.733. Um, or if you want to use the alpha y equals menu because you want to be like all the cool kids, do that, and it'll convert it right back to 41 over 15. And then if you wanted to switch that into, you know, the whole, well, I don't like this, I want a mixed number thing, it'll go right back to this. But that's a way to be able to type in fractions. Sometimes I know on the old TI-83s you had to make a parentheses and then just do a division and whatever, but much cleaner on the TI-84+. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to use it and it won't drive you so nuts.